Hi, today I'd like to show you some improvements that iOS 6 made to Assistive Touch. Assistive Touch debuted with iOS 5 a year ago, and it helps make the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch more accessible to people with physical disabilities. I'll show you some of the improvements that iOS 6 made. First of all, to start Assistive Touch, go to Settings, General, Accessibility, and then under Physical and Motor, go to Assisted Up Touch and toggle it on. Once you do that, you'll notice this white um, orb appeal appear. That's the Assistive Touch menu, so by touching it, you get the menu. I'll show that to you in a minute, but first, one of the um, features that I noticed is pretty simple, but it allows you to move the orb to more spots on the screen. Before it was only like the corner, the middle of the screen, the other corner, um, so it was limited, but now you can position it where it will be the least intrusive and get in the way of the least amount of um, buttons or icons. So let's say you leave it here, then when you go to um, a keyboard, it automatically pops up to get away from the keyboard so it doesn't um, interfere with your typing. Now let's get into the assistive touch menu and see what's changed. So the first thing you might notice if you've used assistive touch in iOS 5 is the Siri button. So if you press on that, are the tigers winning? It's 6 to 4, Detroit. So if you press on that, Siri comes up and um, you can ask Siri a question. Something else that you might um, see that's different is under device, you can go to more, and you have a couple new options, including multitasking, which brings up the multitasking tray, and a pretty cool one, screenshot. So if you press this, it will take a screenshot of whatever's on your screen, and it won't include any assistive touch um, it won't include the assistive touch menu, so it will just be what's on the screen. Also, you have shake, which will shake the device. Um, so if you want to undo something, or um, there's a game where you have to shake it, you can use that. Along with those features, you still get the um, favorites, where you can create a new gesture, or you can have your own I mean. Um, pinch which is the built-in gesture to pinch to zoom on maps or another application for example so that's some of the improvements of assistive touch in ios 6 thanks for watching